Welcome to the Toilet Confessionals, and today it's going to be a legit confessional. I'm going to tell you stories that I have never told anyone else about me. And First off, this is a story I don't actually remember. My mother has told me she was potty training me, so that's how little I was. So she'd put me on the toilet and she would tell me to pee. I would. I didn't understand the concept of peeing. Instead of keeping my legs open like a normal person, I would hold my legs together real tight. And then I would pee, and the pee would come down my legs. Like, like a little waterfall <laughs> all over my feet. And my mom would be like, oh! Which is not something you normally tell your daughter. Spread those legs! Shit happens! Speaking of shit, you are a fan of pink sweatpants that kind of with the little elastics at the bottom. Beware. It was the early 90s. We went to the library and I loved the library. I passed reading really young kids books, but not into like chapter books or anything like that. So I, I wasn't entirely sure where my section of the library was. But I, I did know that you sat on the toilet to poop. I'm looking at these books and I realized I didn't know where the bathroom was. I went looking for my mom to try and figure out, to find her so that she could show me where the bathroom was. But my mom had this amazing ability to just disappear in library. She was hiding from me. I was kind of a needy child. I went back to my section and walked around more and convinced myself that I could hold it. But the fact was I couldn't. Eventually your sphincter gives out and it just sets things free. I pooped my pants. I literally pooped in my pants. When you poop your pants and you have elastic around the ankles, it doesn't go anywhere. It stays in your pants. Chicken nuggets of poop in your pants. Remember my mom eventually, she figured it out. Did you poop your pants? I didn't want to anymore and I couldn't find you and I didn't know what to do. You just go to the bathroom. Like any normal human being, you just go to the bathroom. She takes me to the bathroom. I don't know if I was standing over the edge of the toilet or what, but I remember her holding my sweatpants and, and opening the elastic and the, the little poops just <laughs> in the toilet. Boy. When I was in kindergarten, we had to wear little jumpers, and when I say jumper, I don't mean sweater like British people. It's a dress that you wear a blouse under. We all were lined up in the hallway, my whole class was out there. We let like three girls go in at a time, and then every time a girl came out, you'd send another girl in. It was my turn to go to the bathroom, I was looking at the toilet, I was thinking, you know there is a way to pee while wearing my jumper. I don't know what it is. I don't remember how this works. And so I went outside and I asked my teacher, can you unzip me because I have to pee? And I remember Mrs. Majeski looking at me and going, you just lift it up. Oh, that's the easy way. And I like scurried back into the bathroom and I lifted my jumper up and I peed. And I never forgot how to pee while wearing a dress. I am great at peeing while wearing dresses. One time, long ago, when I was a child, my cousins used to come over all the time. There were four kids in my family, four kids in their family, so there were eight of us total. Great number of kids to play, hide and go seek. There's a row of hedges along our property. If you were little, like me, you could go under the hedges and hide there and you were like invisible. When I used to hide by myself, I would get scared and I would have a really strong urge to pee. If I left my hiding spot, the hunter would see me, he would catch me. I didn't want to go into the house to pee and miss the game. Bathroom breaks are ridiculously inconvenient. I knew that the boys could pee in the bushes. I was going to pee in the bushes. Shouldn't you just be able to pull the shorts and the underwear to the side? and then pee straight down while you're squatting. And I found out the hard way that that isn't true. The pee on your shorts and on your hand and on your pants, this is really embarrassing. Run to the house before anyone talks to you way. Pee all over myself. Woohoo! I was going to the Netherlands. While flying over the Atlantic to get there, I really had to pee. I figured I had a six hour layover in Germany. I would just hold it until I landed in Germany and I would have plenty of time to find a bathroom and still get to my gate on time and it wouldn't be a big deal. We land in Germany, I'm walking through the airport and I don't see any signs for the bathroom. I see this little green man and he's running out a door and I'm like, that looks like someone who feels the way that I feel. Maybe he's running to the bathroom. He wasn't, just running out the door because it was an emergency exit. Oh my God, I've had to pee for two hours. I had a six hour layover and you would think that at some point during that time I could find a bathroom. No, the, I don't want to ask anyone where a bathroom is phobia. I didn't ask anyone. When I sat still for four hours with my legs really, really tight. I know where the bathroom was on the plane, so I figured I'll just hold it for now and then I'll get on the plane and I'll use that bathroom. Why I ever thought that after holding it for six hours in an airport, I would use an airplane bathroom, I have no idea. It was just a sick way of brainwashing myself into holding my urine 
for another two hours. Landed in Holland. Now I have held my pee for eight hours. I have got to pee. My bladder is a water balloon that's about to explode all over my insides and poison me. Do I find a bathroom at the Dutch airport? No. I go to freaking baggage claim, walk through customs, meet my relatives whom I've never met before, get in their bouncy little European car, take off for their house. And then when I get there, do I say, I love you all, I've never met you, but please, God, point me to the bathroom. No. I go on a house tour. I drop my luggage upstairs. I stand there awkwardly while they stare at me because we've never met, thinking, what do I need before I finally go, where is your bathroom? Oh my god. It was like the best pee of my life. I don't think there is any experience that tops that pee. It was awesome. All right, next week my sister will be back, and in two weeks I will be back. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video, and link me to your embarrassing toilet stories, because I can't be the only one who's been keeping these secrets for years. 